picture over here just kind of confirms what the problem is asking you to solve for. This graph right here, black line or curve, is the graph of this function right here where A and B have already been determined. And what the problem is saying is that the line y equals at 3x plus 4, which is this red dashed line right here, which obviously does pass through the point 1, 7, is tangent to this curve at the point 1, 7. And there's some other point on the curve that has a tangent line that's parallel to this one. So the key is that Understanding if you find the first derivative of y with respect to x, that that will be a formula for the slopes of tangent lines. So if I take the derivative of this with respect to x, a and b are just constants. Using the power rule, 3ax squared plus 2bx plus 2. The key is that at the, if the curve passes through the point 1, 7, that means when x is 1, y is 7. So I can use that information to say, I'll get a value of 7 whenever I put a 1 in for x. So this first term will just become a. This term will become b. This term will become 2, and the 7 is constant. So if I put a 1 in for x, I get a 7 for y. And I can simplify this to say uh, a plus b equals minus 2, 7 minus 9. Now down here, this formula for the, the derivative that's, again, the formula for slopes of tangent lines to the original, the graph of the original function. This information right here, y equals 3x plus 4, tells it that the slope of the tangent line is 3. So at this point right here, 1, 7, that red line has to have a slope of 3. So that means if I put 1 in for x, I will get 3 for y prime. So if I put 1 in for x, I get a 3a, I get a 2b, and a plus 2. Or 3a plus 2b equals positive 1. So we want to solve this system of equations. to find out the values of a and b. And we can use the addition and elimination method. Multiply the top equation by minus 3, for example, and add it with the second equation. And you'll find out that uh, here's what I get. b is negative 7, and a is 5. So that is the graph, this black graph here. And if I put, actually, f of x equals, if I put the uh, 5 in for a, I get 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x plus 7, that's the original function. f prime will be 15x squared minus 14x plus 2. And to answer part B, we want to know when does this formula for the slopes of tangent lines, when does that give us a value of 3? So we're actually solving this equation, 15x squared minus 14x plus 2 
when does that give us a value of three? There should be two points. We already know one. All x squared minus 14x minus 1 equals 0. You can solve that by factoring. I won't go through the steps, but 15x plus 1 times x minus 1 is the factoring of that left-hand side. So x equals 1, which we knew, and x equals negative, or x equals negative 1 15th, which is this point right here. So the answer to part B is negative 1 15th, the x-coordinate of a point on the curve that also has a tangent line with a slope of 3 just a different y-intercept than our first equation. So there you go.